9th. Let's take a look and see what's in our advent calendar on the ninth day of advent. I wonder if you can see what that is. It's cord. Let's have a look and see what the Bible tells us about this picture. The story of Rahab. Joshua, son of Nun, secretly sent out from Shittim two men as spies. Go, look over the land, check out Jericho. They left and arrived at the house of a harlot named Rahab and stayed there. The king of Jericho was told, we've just learned that men arrive tonight to spy out the land. They're from the people of Israel. The king of Jericho sent word to Rahab, bring out the men who came to you to stay the night in your house. They're spies. They've come to spy out the whole country. Before the spies were down from, for the night, the woman came up to them on the roof and said, I know that God has given you the land. We're all afraid. Now promise me by God, I showed you mercy. Now show my family mercy and give me some tangible proof, a guarantee of life for my father and mother, my brothers and sisters, everyone connected to, with my family. Save our souls from death. Our lives for yours, said the men, but don't tell anybody our business. When God turns this land over to us, we'll do right by you in loyal mercy. The men told her, the men told her, in order to keep this oath you made us swear, here is what you must do. Hang this red rope out of the window through which you let us down and gather your entire family with you in your house. After Moses died, God chose Moses' helper, Joshua, to take on the responsibility. Joshua's job was to take back Jericho. And when Joshua sent spies into Jericho, Rahab helped them. She hid them, she kept them safe, and she helped them escape. She believed that the people Joshua led were God's people. Joshua and his people kept Rahab and her family safe. Rahab became a member of God's family. Later, Jesus also became a member of Rahab's family. Jesus died on the cross to make us part of his family. So, today, why not create a red cord keyring to remind you that like Rahab trusted God and hung a red cord from her window, we can also trust God to take care of us. So in order to create your cord keyring, you will need a keyring loop, three pieces of red wool to start, fold your wool, all three of them, in half so that you've got a loop at the top, then feed your loop through your keyring and feed your wool through your loop, like this. Make sure that your keyring isn't going to move. Separate your six strands into three sections and plait. Then when you're happy with the length, tie a knot in the bottom. And there you have your red cord keyring. I hope you enjoyed the craft. 
Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that Rahab was faithful and trusted in you to keep her family safe. Thank you that through Jesus' death on the cross, you keep us safe too. Amen. That's it from me today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.